So according to the domestic violence detective who was testifying today, if a domestic violence crime is called in and a report is made, it makes the charges criminal charges otherwise it becomes an incident. For Johnny's case no report was made and it was an incident documentation, meaning the police who came to check on the domestic violence call determined that no crime had happened so when Amber was reluctant they just gave her their business card and left. She also said that when the language verbal dispute is used it means the documentation was not reported meaning it was not a crime. Victim advised verbal dispute. Language that was that patrol officers were trained to provide when they were not going to document anything from the scene. It can vary, but officers would commonly use um, the phrase verbal dispute or to document when a report was not taken. Amber's documentation read husband left, reports verbal dispute. So I'm going to show you the incident call here and it goes down and it has domestic dispute. And then it says, met with victim, looks like check location, verified husband left, victim advised verbal dispute and refused to give any further information, issued business card. Do you see that? Leaning Johnny never committed any crime that day. Violence call sees injury regardless of whether the victim cooperates what is the police officer's obligation this is as of may 2016 to do an investigation to determine if that injury was a result of a crime According to the detective, when a call is made and the victim has visible bruises or the house looks visibly disturbed, then it's the police obligation to do an investigation whether the victim wanted to report or not. Now, Amber claimed to have sustained visible injuries and the house was in disarray after being assaulted by Johnny. But the police came and left, leaving behind a card without launching an investigation. This clearly means that there were little to no bruises on Amber and the house didn't look so much disturbed to alarm the police officers. That's why they left a business card without having the need to investigate. Even if a witness shows the officers around, like Amber's friend did, the officers would still have to determine whether it's something worth investigating or something else. The other witnesses took the officers through the entire premises and showed broken glass, spilled wine, and a number of areas of disturbance and vandalism. What would the officer's obligations be then? The officers would still need to determine if, uh, if there was enough evidence there from, from these witness statements and the things that they're seeing to determine if this injury is a result of the crime. Since they did not investigate Amber, it was simply because it wasn't a violence but something else, something her and her friends are lying about. All this information together shows that the incident was very small, like a normal couple's argument since the police didn't see visible marks on Amber which could have led them to investigate what the cause of them were. It shows that Johnny never harmed that woman, and that the two might have been verbally abusing each other without anyone laying a finger on the other. And later Amber and her friends might have set up the place to look like a crime scene, Guess they did a bad job then. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.